Greetings, I am back with more Assassin's Creed 4. I'm in Kingston and I got all the viewpoints that I can get. Apparently I can't get this one yet. You're not allowed to go to Lawrence Prince's house before a certain part in the main story, apparently. She's like, fine, be that way. Jerk. What's up, Adewale? Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kimmer, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slave. Come on, mate. Once we have the sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young master kid gets the info. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? Don't I'm worry about it. these men to the sea. All right. And Prince is leading us. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my blade for a time, but not long. Just the other day. months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Nope. <laughs> they saw nothing. What just changed in that short time? None called me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah. I was not aware. You couldn't help it, could you, Kim? Sticking your nose at the things you can't understand. You're making me nervous, kid. Keep your blades cool. Just my Steady, Jim. We're close. Don't worry. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it? We are nearly there. Corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now when you have denied me that right for 30 years? I find your bearing appalling, Prince. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly, men with talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money to see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Watch for 
Where's your step, boy? Come on. Oh. I'm just following these guys around, so don't worry about me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> nothing, just don't worry about it. Oh, Taurus. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. <clears throat> yeah, even even Templars abhor slavery. Like, come on. about you, Trusha. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this war. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. <coughs> well, if I'd known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money. Oh, hey, there's kid. You say you came alone, Horace? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time. No. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed. Deal with this. Well, shit. I thought I did a good job. You cocked up my kill, Kenway. For a better cause. Run away! Kid, ah! no! Jim, stop! Not this time, Kenway. Come back! Come on, man! We can work this together.
Stay your blade, kid. Wait! Jim, stop! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Damn you, old strats. Keep your natty hands off me. I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that? Okay, angry person. Jeez. I thought I did a good job being stealthy. Oh well. Why'd you take off your hood? Oh, there's another guy. Hold on. Jeez, all I wanted to do was rob this man. Come on. Okie doke. <coughs> Sorry. Just gotta run up here and uh. For a meeting in a pub. I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. Uh, there's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. <laughs> Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. Huh. <laughs> All right, let's do the thing, shall we? Gotta disable these three alarm bells.
I'm gonna try to be as stealthy as I can. There we go. There we go. Just gonna get away from here. <clears throat> Let them uh, have at each other for a couple minutes. Come here, dear. Come here. Good job. Uh-huh. Yet, anyway. You come back here. No, you're going to yell at me. No, you don't. Okay. There we go. All the alarm bells.
There we go. There we go. Now I'm here. Oh, stand your ground. Please. I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. And faint. <laughs> Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. Oh, nice. <laughs> What a jerk, my god. Really, you're not even going to dispose of the bodies? My goodness. Oi! Arnold! Mr. Prince says to keep your eyes closed. Says there's some man if I stand up in trouble. I'll spread the word! Ammo. Thank you, sir. Yes, I'm in the middle of a freaking thing and I've just decided to, you know, synchronize a viewpoint here. It's the last one I need in case not okay. I was trying to get to it earlier. Got him. Why hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? Yes. You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Gotcha, bitch. Heads up, Kenway. I found your man. I oh. remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Not anymore. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Well, shit. Robots! 
Uh oh. It's time to run. I'm out of here. <laughs> Run away, me. Oh, no. Ah, joke's on you. I sabotaged those already. Gonna yell at me. Ow. Don't lose that. I'm trying. You guys didn't see anything. Nothing happened. I think I did a good job on stealth on that one, actually. I probably still failed, like, the secondary objectives, but fuck it. Thought I did pretty well. Well, that was fun, wasn't it, kid? Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Uh, Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. I, uh... I have the most confused boner of all time. <laughs> oh no, I did! I got them! Yay! I'm proud of myself. I did a good job. <laughs> Yay! Alright, let's go ahead and return. Yay, now I have all the uh, few points in uh, Kingston. And also, I robbed these two warehouses off camera. They're, they're both empty. <laughs> Okie doke. I think... Where am I supposed to go? Where do you want me to go? All the way back to Nassau, my goodness. Okay, I'll fast travel. All right, let's go ahead and uh, travel to Nassau. Yes, do the thing. This time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Ah, ah, dear lady, what do they call you? And when ah. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced, but never lady. <laughs> well, good Leanne. I, 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 oh, oh, oh. 
Uh oh. It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack NASA. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Vane. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? Okay. There's trouble brewing. Oh dear. Let's... In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference between me. here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. But taking a wide view, we're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye. Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. That's I where you're wrong, it was. Shite, I'm here and drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. Hey, buddy, you look great. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting free in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch? Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Okay. Remember, Thatch? Keep your cannons, Court. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. All right, gotta buy a diving bell. Might I be of assistance? Sure. Sell that, sell all that. <sighs> okay, diving bell. Awesome, I can afford it. <clears throat> nope. There we go. Now I can go to these different, uh, wrecks and I can go underwater and explore them. These all have the uh, elite plans for the ships. The elite well upgrades. Done, mind. Good day. Which allow me to take on the legendary ships. So, yeah. That'll be fun. I'll definitely do that on camera though. Don't worry. Now that I've gotten the diving bell, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one early. Because reasons. Alright. I'll see you guys at the diving location, I think. Is the next area the diving location? Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay.
I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.